Hello everybody, I'm Sharpen Blade, and today I have an overview of, I'm not sure yet, <laughs> I packaged all of my Monterey Bay knives up to sell, and I put them in a grocery bag, and I haven't sold some of them yet. So we're just going to do an off the cuff, no thought beforehand uh, overview, and this is on, oh it's on the turbo, okay cool. All right, I actually really like the turbo. Interesting story involved with this, which is a little bit of why I'm selling, or mostly why I'm selling my knives, other than, mostly why I'm selling my Monterey Bay knives, other than the fact I just need some extra cash, some extra do re mi, if you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is, I'll, I'll go through the overview of this first, and then I'll maybe have a story time at the end, if I feel like it, which I probably will. So, what we got here, I'm going to look up, since this is off the cuff, <laughs> I'm going to look up on Monterey Bay Knives website, the specs, because I don't care <laughs> enough to do this myself, to measure it myself, I'm just going to go by what they say, hopefully it's on here, because otherwise this is going to be awkward, okay good, okay, now, alright, I'm going to leave that right there, so okay, <laughs> Yes, so what we're looking at here is a knife with quite a nice action. And it's got, I love the sound of this knife. It's very uh, authoritative. So, what you're looking at, here is the flipper tab. Ooh, with a little bit of jimping. I'll show that more later on. You hear that sound? That ka-ching, ka 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 <laughs> And you gotta be careful with this one because... She falls. She falls. This thing is smooth. This is so drop shutty. You have to be careful. But anyways, what you're looking at is a 3.75 inch blade length and a four and a half inch handle length. So this is a good sized knife. Mm-hmm. And it weighs five ounces. Okay. Put that to the side. And I don't need to worry about fingerprints with this one because it's a black stone wash. So what you got here, M390 blade with a black stone wash finish. And you've got blackened tie handle material. Ooh, blackened titanium. And a titanium pocket clip. And quite a nice titanium backspacer. A nice little, here let me zoom in a little bit. <sighs> a nice little backspacer with some pattern to it. Really nice, it kind of sticks up just a little tiny bit. Really nice. And there's a tiny, tiny little bit of micro milling on there. You probably can't see it. It's so small, I can hardly notice it myself. And maybe it's not even there, but it, it looks like it. Anyways, the action on this is, is phenomenal. <laughs> I didn't really like the look of this at all, <laughs> to be honest with you. The blade shape is very like, um, ah, ah, ah. no, like toucan, you know what I mean? <laughs> it looks like a bird, uh, you know, like a, a, a oiseau, you know what I mean? To all my French homies out there. Oiseau! Uh, oiseau! So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, was all with the oofs, but anyways, um, I'm Canadian, I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> so anyway, black stone wash, really, sh and then black, it looks really nice, really sharp. Uh, ergos are excellent, it's, it's a, pretty much a full-size knife, so, well, it's a full-size knife, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Uh, ergos are excellent, that pocket clip. No hot spots whatsoever from that pocket clip, like at all. Uh, very interesting looking pocket clip. I'm not a huge fan of that design, but I mean, at least it's different. Um, this is from a different design. This isn't Ray Laconico. This is a carry design. So uh, that's 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 logo right there. Can you see it? Yeah, I'm sure you can. You got the idea. So, anyways, uh, it's a liner lock, which is nice. Uh, for all you lefties out there, if that 
matters to you. <laughs> there you go. Um, it's not a lefty friendly knife though, because other than that, like the pocket clip can't be switched over. But anyways, yeah, it's really nice, really nice like action, and it feels great in hand. I'm still not the, you know a huge fan of the blade shape, but I mean it's it's all right. It, it's cool looking, I guess. It's it's different. That's that's a good word. It's different. Um, yeah, solid, solid knife. Uh, I haven't even, I carried this maybe once or twice. Like I say, I'm selling this knife, so this is just an overview, not a, a review by any means. But for, like, honestly, for me, I just need to know, for a knife, in order for me to buy a knife, I just need to know, how's the action? Action is great. How's the sound? And the sound is really cool. It's different, very different. Um, and then ergos are good. So that's really, <laughs> if you like the look of it, that's all you need to know. Uh, what was the price on that? They retail for $230. That's what I thought. 230 bucks. So story time. Story time. Should I, should I go into this story? Or should I leave it for another time? I'll just do the quick version of it. Okay, so you would have seen, if you've been watching my channel for a little bit, uh, it was right around Christmas time, I think. So you didn't have to watch my channel for very long. <laughs> You've seen that I unboxed a couple of these turbos and that custom, like not custom, the modded uh, old guard. And you would have seen that I got sent two turbos. Um, I ordered this one and then I also ordered a turbo in the raindrop carbon fiber and satin blade. Uh, I reached out to Sanford after that, and I'm gonna close this up. Uh, and I and I emailed him, and he said, "Oh, like, crap! That you know, I'll get it fixed right away." So he, he said, "I'll send out a mailer," but I kind of just wanted um, the the version that I paid for. <laughs> and, and he's like, "No, we don't have any of those in stock," which is fine. Things sell out, but I don't think he's gonna have any more made anytime soon so I couldn't get the satin because he sent me two of the same two of the black and blacked out ones um, so I couldn't get the satin one with the carbon fiber so I was like okay that's fine I'll just send it you know send me a mailer I'll send it back and then you can give me a refund easy peasy that was that was good that was it done taken care of um, and then shortly after that not too long uh, after that, I ordered a sprocket and another old guard. Uh, this time in like the X cut or cross cut carbon fiber. Really cool looking carbon fiber. And I emailed him. I said, "Hey man, if uh, you haven't sent out that mailer yet, you can just include that with this order. I just placed an order." He's like, "Oh yeah, cool." He's like, "Yeah, I'll do that." So I was like, "Cool." So I don't remember what date that was exactly, but I think it was about within a week later. It made it to the Canadian border and it didn't go any further. This is the 23rd of December. It said sent, presented for review at the, you know, for the agency, whatever, <laughs> CBSA. And it was presented for a review and then it stayed there. And then um, I sent uh, another email and I said, this is like January 10th, I think. I said, hey, Sanford. The uh, knives are sitting at the border. Just in case you're wondering why you haven't received the turbo back yet, uh, I just haven't got the mailer back yet. I haven't got the mailer yet, and it's because it's stuck at the border with the knives. And he's like, "Oh, like if they don't, let's keep an eye on it. And if they don't move, I'll call and see if I can get them to speed up a little bit." Which was awesome. You know, a lot of times companies will say, uh, "Screw you." <laughs> It was taken at the border. It's gone. <laughs> but he, he said he offered to call and it was awesome. So a week goes by. I haven't heard anything from him. I said, you know, um, I was just checking in to see if you had a chance to call him. And never heard anything back from him. And a week later, uh, I said, hey, man, just, you know, like, nothing. <laughs> nothing. I haven't heard from you. So I, anyways, um, I, I said, like, I'm not looking for a refund, and I'm not looking for a refund on those knives that are taken at the border. Uh, they're gone. <laughs> they're gone. 
I'm not expecting to get the money back from that. Obviously, I take responsibility for that. I took the risk of getting them sent. A lot of my other knives, like I have 10 other knives from Monterey Bay Knives, made it through no problem. So, uh, you know, I accept the risk. I wasn't looking for money back on that. Biggest thing was to get that mailer back. And since he said he could call, him calling them would make a big, way bigger difference than me contacting them. I mean, the rigmarole that a prison has to go through to try to get those knives out of that, it's just insane. So if he could have helped at all, it would have been awesome. But anyways, I never heard back from him. And yeah, I could send in that second turbo. I could send it in to him. But at this point, I'm afraid that since he's ghosted me, basically, uh, I'm afraid that I won't get my refund back. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to sell that knife uh, and get back some of the money and, you know, whatever. Uh, because honestly, I've heard a lot of people... Uh, like it used to be really bad for knives to get sent into Canada, but to send knives out of Canada is starting to become a problem too. Shipping them into the states, a lot of times they get taken. Like, uh, uh, no, 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 you're not, you're not sending that in here. If it gets taken when I'm trying to send it back, I'm out of that money too. So I think I'm just gonna sell that. But the biggest thing is, and it's not a big deal. It's just like, it's not. It wasn't gonna cost him any any money. <laughs> so I don't understand why he ghosted me. Uh, because if I, the refund that I would have got from, I mean, I bought 12 knives within a month. <laughs> so chances are I was going to continue to buy more knives. But anyways, I'm not now, obviously. But yeah, that's what's going on. Uh, and I don't want to be petty about it, but it's kind of greasy. And I've heard other people complain that they had issues and they kind of got ghosted, and, you know, through emails and stuff. So whatever. If... He happens to make things right. He doesn't really need to make things right. I don't care anymore. <laughs> I just wanted to bring that up. That's why I'm starting to sink down here. That's that's just why I'm selling them. Other than the fact that I just want the money from them to buy knives from companies that I actually want to support. So, yeah. Uh, not to make a big poo-poo party out of this, but... <laughs> I just thought I should address that issue. I was ghosted. I sent three emails, never heard anything back from them. Has been, well, that was since the 10th of January. I haven't heard anything back from him about anything. So, uh, yeah, kind of stupid, uh, you know. <laughs> but whatever. The knives are great, though. If you don't have, if you don't encounter any issues, and I've heard other people have awesome experiences with the customer service. And like I said at first, of the story, um, I had a good experience with him as well. But I just kind of went, <laughs> so anyways, um, I don't know, it's kind of kind of dumb, but as long as you don't experience any issues with it, you don't need to worry, because the knives themselves are awesome, they're worth getting, it's just, uh, be careful, that's all I'm going to say, but um, yeah, this is kind of more, kind of took more of a negative turn than I wanted to. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to get that off my chest and like I've given him lots of opportunity to talk to me to respond I should say and he hasn't responded but yeah the knives are awesome it's a shame that I ran into that because I would have been a customer for life because I love Monterey Bay knives but uh, yeah you can uh, this sounds unreal So yeah, I've got one, I didn't even flip this, the second one I have. I took it out of the bag and I saw, oh, this is wrong. I put it back in the bag, zipped it up in the pouch. It hasn't been flipped. It's brand spanking new. And I'll be selling it. I don't know what I want for that. But anyways, I'll be selling that and I'll be selling this one. So um, yeah, that should do. Again, sorry that it's more negative. I don't like to be overly negative with my videos. But I just thought I should address that because it's kind of been bothering me a little bit. It's not not the greatest feeling being ghosted like that. But anyways, I know kind of a Ooh, cry baby me me me. But <laughs> you know I've experienced amazing customer service like Finch. This is this is how in case uh, Sanford's watching this video. This is how you deal with you know customers. Um, I got a knife from Finch, and. The cherry bomb. 
and as it, like you probably people would have seen in my videos, um, the first one I got, the first cherry bomb I got, had a piece missing from the the scale. So I contacted them. The, that day, they sent out a replacement knife, whole new knife. They didn't ask me to send back that knife that was broken, or I had the issue where well, the knife wasn't broken, just the scale was cracked. They didn't ask me to send that knife back. They just said, oh yeah, we're just going to replace it. They sent it by DHL. It was there within a week, like here within a week, I should say. Brand new knife, second knife, you know, never asked for the other knife back. That is how you deal with customers. That is good customer service. Just saying. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Um, that should do for this random video. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching. Take care.